how to edit photo like this in Adobe Photoshop. Let's do it. What's up everybody, this is Sarva from Doublest Production and welcome back to another one excited episode of this channel. Again, we have to eat the cake of Photoshop. I will show you that how to do this effect inside Adobe Photoshop. For this effect, you need camera, tripod or a place where you can put your camera still but you need two photos from one position. I put my camera on tripod. After that, I, I did some adjustment in the camera and I shoot in raw mood. I took two photos. The first photo of the subject and another photo without subject because I'll put their background behind the subject. I took umbrella because it's a reference point where I should cut my body. For this effect, if you are doing this without any stick, without an umbrella, you will get a weak effect. That's why I recommend umbrella or stick that is creating some barrier in your body. Oh, can you do that? It's very easy effect, but you have to think about this, that how I did this. It's the work of Adobe After Effect. So I don't have to talk much. Let's move into tutorial. Okay, so here we are in Adobe Photoshop CC 2018. You see the process that I've done for this photo and I've done the color correction, the manipulation part and all these things I've done this here. I will not go through the color correction of this photo. I will just show you the manipulation part and the manipulation segment of this photo that how I did this dimension effect and how I did this uh, some kind of mirror effect how to remove the half of the body without losing any detail on the photo. So let's do it. So I have to close this project. Both of the photos are in the description below. You can uh, download it and you can try and you can practice your work there. So file, open and there we have two photos. As I said before that I took two photos, one is subject photo and another is background photo and we will combine both of them and we'll create that dimension effect. So first of all, I need to open subject. These are the raw format photos and open the image i do not want to change any setting here so open the image so i have to import the background photo go into file plus embedded and click on the background here i do not want to change any setting and hit ok there we go now i have both photos open in adobe photoshop and now i'm going to manipulate the photo so if you look at the subject photo it's locked and it's a background layer double click on it hit ok and now it's unlocked when I hide the subject layer, you see clearly that what happens to the photo. Just look at this. Both photos are the same. We have to concentrate on this area only. On the background photo, you see that these stops change. But our concern is not with these elements. Our concern is with the background and with the with the floor here. So just look at these. That there is no change and I can manipulate it easily. So the process that I would do is I would go to the pen tool and I want to remove this area from the subject photo. So just start with the pen tool. Now to go through this process, when you click simple here, then just click and drag and it will create a bezier effect in the pen. If your move is wrong, you can undo it by control Z or there are some tricks with the pen tool that I will show you right now that how to deal with the pen tool. I clicked here and I want to move this dot to another place. What should I do? Do not release the left mouse button and hold space and move it around. You can move it easily. So that's the easiest way to move the dot around or to move the point around. So that was the whole process. Now I want to remove this area. Just click here and it will close the whole path. Now I want to select this area. What should I do? So I have to right click and I will say max selection. When you click on max selection, it will say the feather radius. I want it to be zero and hit OK. Now there is selection on the area. Hold Alt and click on this mask button here and it will generate a mask inverted to this selection. So what do you see here? I've created a mask inverted to that selection and now everything's removed. So that was the whole process. But we have to look at some parts. There are still some distraction and some problems in the photo. If I zoom in, you see this area is focused and, and this area is not focused. I want to match these both. What I need to do is I have to go into this mask again here, click on the mask, go to the brush tool, scale it down 
and I want to paint this area because uh, I want to make this area focused. So what you need to do, you have to remove this area because the background is focused and the subject photo is not focused. So what I need to do is I have to go to the black colors here and I want to paint on this mask here. What it do, it will remove that area for you. So what do you see? It reveals the background layer in it. Do you see it? And that's it. We did it. Now just zoom in this area and mask this area around because there are some you see that the sharpen edge. I want to remove that. Also here, I want to go to the sharpen edge and I want to remove that. Now we manipulated the image but there is another problem. There is an object in the background and I want to remove that object. It's very easy in this process. If you look to the background photo, at that place there is no object. So easily I can remove that object from this photo and it will reveal the background element in it. So and that's it. Now let's do some color correction on the photo. Go to this adjustment here and create a curves effect or levels effect anything you want to go with i'm going with curves okay now i'm going to camera raw filter to adjust the colors the umbrella colors and these uh, colors i i'm not going in detail for the color part but i'm just giving you some idea that how to deal with the color and how to color grade your photo just press ctrl all shift e it will merge all the layers and generate a new layer for you so it's the exact same copy of the layers below click on the layer one just go to filter and go to camera raw filter when you click on the camera raw filter something pops up you see here there are a bunch of options for color correction or color grading your photo just play around with the tools increase the exposure a little bit contrast a little bit the highlights should be high clarity should be increased not much now i'm just going into heave saturation and luminance part and here i have to go to heave part and change the blue to aqua and what do you see i'm changing the color of umbrella so do some adjustments according to your photo if you're editing another photo not this one the options in the setting will be changed for you So I did the exact same thing and I come up with something uh, like this. Okay, hit okay. Now if you compare both of the skies, this photo sky and this photo sky, there is a big difference. How I did that? It's very easy. I get a photo of clouds from the Google and I put it there. Very easy. Let me show you. Just go to the photo here, go to file, place embedded and import the photo of clouds. You see here I have this photo of clouds and I want to replace the sky in this photo. Just scale it up a little bit and place it there. Hit enter. Lower down the opacity. So you should see it a little bit. And now mask it out. Just activate the mask tool from here. Go to the brush tool and take the black color. If I paint on this mask with black color, it will remove that part of the layer. And if I paint white color on this mask here, it will visible and it will show you that part of the layer. For example, it's white and all the things are visible in the sky layer. But if I start painting a black color, what do you see? It removes. So this is non-destructive editing. So I need the sky to be here. There's fun part here in, in the sky replacement and I will show you in a moment. Okay, increase the opacity and what do you see? You replaced the sky but it is not accurate. If I look at the edges of this here, if I look at the, to the trees here, it looks fake. So what do you have to do? Duplicate the layer 1 by Ctrl J, put it on top and change the blending mode to darken. And what it does for you that all the dark parts appear on top of the cloud layer but you have to do some adjustment right so click on the mask again here go to the brush tool and select a blade color and just do some adjustments increase the brush size and increase down the opacity to 50% and paint it here 
Okay, now I want to increase the brightness of the sky because the sky is darker and the image is brighter. I want to match the colors of both of the photos. So what you need to do, create a new curves adjustment layer and clip mask that curves to only the sky cloud layer because I do not want to apply this curve to the whole photo. I want to only apply this on the sky cloud. So control alt G, it will clip mask that curves effect to only the layer below it. So it will only affect the sky clouds here. So let's do some color correction on the sky. So just play around with the colors. I want to go and create a new color lookup layer color lookup and apply a lot from here you can download these LUTs I will come up with these LUTs and I will create my own LUTs and I will share with you people apply one of the LUT I like codec 5205 for this I'm just giving you idea that how to play with the colors and how to color grade your photo I just combine many LUTs I combine many layers adjustment layers and I came up with something like this so play around with the colors and another video I will come up with the color grading the how I color grade a photo like this that was a mini manipulation I hope you enjoyed this okay so that was the tutorial I hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you have any question just let me know in the comment section below hit like subscribe turn on the bell icon and I will see you in the next video stay creative buddy because creativity is I forgot that quote